Are you looking for a way to get your crying baby back to sleep? And I know what you're saying. Study finds guy, you look like the person who knows. Well, (laughs) a new study says they have the answer. Hi there. I am the Study Finds guy, Jeff Allen, and this is the latest from Study Finds. Please be sure to like and subscribe to get all of our latest updates. Now, it's a situation just about every new parent has faced after falling into a deep slumber. The baby wakes up and won't stop crying. Even being held, swaddled, and snuggled up to doesn't seem to calm the infant down. By the way, (laughs) just on a side note, I'm a crying baby magnet. So if you see me sit next to you on an airplane, guarantee that a crying baby will be the row behind us. (laughs) I digress. Scientists in Japan say they have finally figured out the secret to success. A five-minute walk followed by cuddling in a chair is the key to getting the crying baby back to sleep, according to new research. Now, it's not just that. There's a formula, and we'll talk more about that here in a bit. (laughs) Or as I like to call it, spoiling them rotten. I kid. (laughs) Let's read on. (laughs) Okay, we'll have that formula at the end of the video. And it's only a few minutes away. Holding and carrying them works better than a simple cuddle. And it offers a cost-free and effective technique, study authors say. Now, it causes physiological changes, including slowing of the heart rate. The study recommends the advice should be given to all parents. So that is what we're doing. Researchers are now developing an app based on the findings, which will alert parents if they need to pick up their baby. Well, of course they are. I figured the app was coming in here somewhere. But if we read on here, I don't know that we need the app. The app might wake you up more than the baby. (laughs) Lead author Dr. Kumi Kuroda of the Riken Center for Brain Science said, quote, many parents suffer from babies nighttime crying and That's such a big issue, especially for inexperienced parents that can lead to parental stress and even to infant maltreatment in a small number of cases, unquote. Well, the only thing you can blame infant maltreatment on is a jerk. There's no excuses for that, but I digress. There's some valid research here, though. Scientists say the phenomenon also seen in dogs and monkeys is a complex series of parallel biological processes. Researchers observe that when these animals pick up their infants and start walking, the bodies of their young tend to become docile and their heart rates slow. In experiments involving 21 infants, and you're seeing video from that here, changes in heart rate and behavior were compared as their mothers carried out these activities. These included carrying, being pushed in a stroller, and holding while sitting. The babies wore electroencephalogram, or EEG, skull caps. These are small discs that measure electrical activity. And data were recorded when they were crying, calm, awake, or asleep. (laughs) I'm just looking at the way some of these kids are being carried here. and Not so sure that these are the best ways to carry the child. But okay, the formula is coming up here in a second. Give it a whirl. The point, I think, is the length of time. And the team found all babies produce physiological responses, including changes in heart rate. That can wake them up the second their bodies detach from their mothers. However, if the infants were asleep for a longer period before being laid down, they were less likely to awaken during the process the team found. That is the process of actually laying the baby back in the crib. Okay, here's the formula. Carry the kiddo for five minutes, then sit down for another five to eight minutes. This usually produces a successful longer sleep for the baby when they're laid back down in the crib. Now, the scientists have spoken. Good luck with that. And I'll give you their phone number so you can call them at 3 a.m. if it doesn't work. I kid. As always, talk to your pediatrician or doctor. There's all kinds of ways people say that you can calm down a crying baby. And this is one that they tested that seems to work. You can check out more info on this and other studies by clicking the link in the description below and head over to studyfinds.com.